I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail. How does Marie want to fail? I want to feel great. <laughs> Okay, uh, and what, I could ask and I can receive, yeah, but that happens okay. every fortnight. <laughs> okay, and, and uh, so by feeling great, mm. what outcome would you like, <laughs> what, would, what would you like to have as a result of feeling great? It removed that block that I've got in myself in moving forward, um, and not to be so reflective and analytical and wondering why. And um, just a more confidence, and I think giving out that confidence to myself is what people see from me, because I'm obviously giving out some kind of fear of something. Mm -hmm. Probably fear of success, fear of moving on. Okay, okay. Uh, so I want you to think of how you feel at the moment, and you've described how you feel at the moment, mm -hmm. and how you'd like to feel. Okay, I want you to tell me what great. What would great, what is being, what is feeling great? So you know last night actually, it's difficult to get from the seven or eight. What is feeling great? You're feeling great, yeah. Um, just keeping up the momentum, having the energy and being able to be focused and that's the other thing, I allow myself to be distracted. If people wanted something, I just seem to go and help them and come back and think, well, now where was I? Okay. Um, we are constantly refocusing instead of keeping one focus. Okay. See, the, the important thing when we're able to do any technique mm. is to know where the client is, where they want to be, mm. and as a result of being there, what they will achieve. And we've got to be very clear on that. And also we've got to be very clear about what they want. Uh, if you have a client, and Marie's been kind enough to volunteer and want to come out here, uh, and it's not easy uh, in front of a group, but we, we use this as an example. If a client says to you, I want to feel great, what does that mean to you? What does that mean to anybody, feeling great? Does, does that give you? Of course it is. And potentially there might, there might be times they do feel great. What's stopping them from feeling great? Sorry, could I get my hand out please? I didn't have one. Sure, what's your hand? What's your hand? Here we go. Okay, so what's stopping, what's stopping anybody from, from feeling great? What? That's the state of mind, I suppose. The state of mind. Is it quantifiable? Feeling great? Is it? Is it any any way we can quantify feeling great? I think you can individually. You can know what it means. Yes, yeah, great. Exactly. You can individually know what it feels to you. As a coach, if your client says, "Do you want to feel great?" What does that mean? You need to it? find out what that means. Of course, you do. Yeah, definitely. Actually, so yeah. we need to know a little bit more about what it is because Marie might have been feeling great last night. She might have been feeling great last week for a period of time. So we need to know present state, which we've, we've been to old. We need to know desired state, which, which Marie has described as, as feeling great. We need to know more about these feelings of, of, of feeling great in a positive context. As a result of feeling great, well, what's that going to bring? What outcome will that give Marie? And that's the key. That's the key for your client. Um, there's one thing just rattling through these techniques step by step. And there's one thing explained in the background as, as to how these techniques can be powerfully implemented to help change, because we're looking to facilitate change here. So, Marie, how do you want to feel? You've told us about how you don't want to feel. How do you want to feel? And, and, and what I would really strongly emphasize for you when you work with a client, be fun, be direct with your clients about how they want to feel. If they start describing how they want to feel and they drift away into the old story, well, I want to feel this, that, and the other, and then they start latching onto that old story, guide them back into how they want to feel. Because that's, that's distorting the thought process. Okay, well, I want to feel focused, energized, committed, and I don't want to feel this way anymore. That's going back to, to, to present state. So we want to. Three states, you say. So where they want to be. Well, First is desire state, where they are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're aiming for a present state. Yeah. Sorry, desire state, where they want to be. So first is present state, PS. 
DS is design state where they want to be. Yeah. And it has to be a clear description in a positive context. Right, okay. And then an outcome. Yeah, okay. What what that will give for them in their life. And then they can quantify and marginalise whether they're achieving what they want to achieve. Because they might be achieving it as they are. They might be fine. They might come in and see you, might say, Well, how do you feel? How do you want to feel? And and what will that give you? And they might walk away thinking, actually, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm okay, I'm on fine, and, 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 and that's the end of that. Yeah, in saying that, they might want to talk about the past, and you're a coach. If you want to be a counsellor, fine. You can listen to people's problems all day, that's, just, that's another remit. You're a coach, you're looking for solutions, and that's the key. So, desired state, how would you describe feeling great? How would you describe this desired state that you want, Marie? How? What's feeling great? Well, something that came to my mind yesterday when we were talking is that when you imagine you're on a stream and it's all bubbling along, yeah. um, so it doesn't get too turbulent and you know the depth of it and everything, yes. I just feel every now and again, but a bit too frequently, thank you, big boulders come in the way and I have to keep negotiating how to get over that boulder so I'm kind of you know, going around it. But instead of that, seeing it coming up and thinking, oh, you know, that's into the future and get around it then, I find that they just seem to come up a bit more frequent then. And I'm not sure if I'm putting them there or if it's something out of my control that I've got to learn to navigate. Is that mm. getting too deep? It's okay, and, and this is a good example. And the, the thing is, really, from a coaching point of view, we're going back to the old story. So as a coach, we're looking for a solution. Are we helping the client if we dive in and start addressing these issues and start talking about the issues and the old story? Are we going to help them move forward? Yeah. Uh, do, we be, uh, do we become firm and say, well, what exactly do you want? How do you want to feel? Uh, great is just the state of mind that you may feel throughout the day either way. How do you actually want to feel? Uh, which, which is the key. To, to your client session, and, and that's, that's really important when you work with your client. So we, we, we go back again um, to, to, to design state. How do you want to feel? How do you want to feel? I want to feel um, fluid, really, you know, just to um, continue the momentum, really. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And what's stopping yeah. you from, from doing that's that? That's what I don't know. That's one of the things I'm going to okay. what, what do you think is stopping you from? <sighs> I suppose it's got to be myself. Okay. But okay. then I get stuck at that. Okay. And that's great. So, one of the key questions I ask my clients is, is well, what's stopping them from doing it now? And when we get to the point where they're actually accepting that it's themselves, then they're ready to take responsibility for their thoughts and feelings and to move forward. So, it's always useful. If, um, if, if, if the client accepts responsibility for their feelings and where they are and, and we've got a good chance of moving on and achieving our desired outcome. So, okay, fluid, momentum, you want to feel like you've got momentum, mm -hmm. you want to feel fluent. Um, continuous. Continuous. Yeah, continuous is good. Okay, okay, you want to feel continuous, you want to build some momentum. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And at the moment you're not building momentum? I don't feel as if I am. Okay, and you want to feel as if you are uh, building momentum? Mm, mm. Okay. And what would that give you as an outcome, if you could build momentum? It will help me keep my focus. Okay. Um, so I can see more long term, because I recognise short term, medium term, long term. And I don't see long term. That's what I'm difficulty with. I'm very much in the now, and I see the now, so that's the present. And I can see a little bit farther on than that, but it's only in that short term. So I'd like to be able to see the big picture, I'd like to be able to see long term. I don't seem to. I've never done it, so I recognise that, and I'd like to get there with that focus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we begin a bit more clear about where you are and where you want to be. So you've got this present state to just mm. recap. You've got this present state of where you are. So where would you describe you are? the moment. 
Um, I'm in a good place, I'm in a happy place, I'm in a, a productive learning place. Um, I need to move on with that. And it's just kind of that block. I seem to say that and I'm thinking it just becomes nothing, a bit of a void. <coughs> okay. and, and you're in this good place, this is your present state. Mm. You've got this block <coughs> and you want to remove this block. <coughs> what do you want to have in place of this block? Uh, division, <coughs> so I can visualise, so I've got the vision to, to, to look beyond that block. And what do you want to see beyond the block? Um, me being successful, creative, productive, flowing, okay, what would that continuous give you? movement really. And what would that give you? <coughs> what would that give me? Um, As an outcome? A good way of life, the whole, the whole package really. Okay, mm. okay. So you're ready to remove this feeling or oh, this block? Okay, okay. I want you to, we're going to do the technique, change personal history. I want you to think of this unpleasant feeling of behaviour, the block, and just close your eyes and relax. Big breath in, breathing out, and count from three to one. As I count back, you'll become more relaxed. Three, two, one, just relax on yourself. Really relax. Now, I want you to think of this experience, this unpleasant feeling, this block that you've described. Think of any colours it might have, any feelings it produces, any sounds, any smells, any taste. Associate to this block. Okay. Now, I want you to come back in your own time, in your own pace, to the here and now. Okay. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you say, with 10 being high, the block is, the mm -hmm. feeling is? 9. A 9, okay. I want you now to develop a anchor. Okay, I want you to anchor this feeling, okay, with your right hand, thumb and finger. So close your eyes, reassociate to the block, into the feelings. Okay. And once you've reassociated, just press thumb and finger together and hold. Okay. Notice any colours, sounds, feelings. As soon as you develop these feelings, and once they get to an intensity of 9 out of 10, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being.